Hi, I'm Brent. Today we're going to talk about TGVs on the Subaru Impreza and SDI Ranger models with the 2.5 litre turbo engines. And TGV stands for Tumble Generator Valve. And if you're an old school version, it's effectively a choke for the engine on cold start. Now the early model Subarus around 0102 to about 06, 07 um, had TGVs on the inlet manifold to fix the cold start and the emissions issues. Um, the early model STIs don't. Um, but then later when they went to the CAN interface around 06, 07 onwards, the STI also got TGVs as well as the continuation of the WRX right up until um, the model changed to the 2 litre uh, direct injection um, engine and not the EJ series engine. So if you've got an EJ series 2.5 Impreza turbo, then effectively you're going to have TGVs. And what we've got here to show you is a factory standard TGV and you can see um, that's the uh, the port injector for the injectors and just to show you how it sits it sits there with the inlet manifold on top I'll hold it over here because you can see in their closed position they highly restrict the throat down into the inlet manifold this is the inlet, inlet manifold that sits on top of the engine and the TGVs go between this and the heads so effectively what you can see is these parts here open and close. The really interesting part is the on cold start about the first 30 seconds of cold start on the early model WRXs, the TGVs stay closed and then they open to that position and then they remain open for the rest of the operating time of the engine um, after it's got past that first 30 seconds of the cold start. Now, on the later model CAN interface Subaru engines, which we spoke about, the TGVs are dynamic, so they open and close depending on throttle position and engine idle. So even when the engine is warm at idle, these will be opening and closing dynamically controlled by the engine ECU. Whereas remember, as I just said, the early models, once they're cold, uh, past the first 30 seconds of cold start, they stay open. Now you may be asking, why are we so worried about this and what is it something that we want to know about? Well, on this particular car, someone has fiddled with the left hand and the right hand TGVs and the position sensor for the TGV, which sits on the side here, um, has been removed and refitted incorrectly. So what you can see here is, I can't open that. So one side was working properly and the other side, the ECU, couldn't open it up. So this engine had a really unusual misfire and on one side of the engine it was running a completely different fuel mixture to the other and this is why. But what it should be is if you ever remove these and replace them is it should be in that position there and that's, you can see I can open and close it properly. But one really interesting part is that if you pull the sensor off and you let go of this the spring in its default position, which is this has got a return spring inside that position sensor, is they default closed. So if you've got an engine that you want to get big horsepower out, you've got a problem with the TGVs, you can imagine the difference between trying to flow horsepower through that compared to that. Now, the next step is uh, it is a common upgrade to replace the TGVs with an STI type riser of the earlier models, or what you can do in, is what we've done on this particular one is you simply take the butterflies out. Now the advantage of taking the butterflies out is yes you still have a restriction with the the pivot shaft in the middle but the upside is is you don't have to take all the assemblies off the end and and get the pivot shaft out and then fill the hole which that ultimately creates a huge boost leak if you don't fill it properly. That there is still going to flow a fair bit of grunt. It's a hell of a lot less restrictive than the factory TGVs and in an engine that you're chasing some horsepower and some power upgrades, it's a really good modification to consider. Now, if you're doing an engine rebuild, these are the things that you need to consider. These are the things you need to be aware of. But also remember, depending on what tune and what software you're using with your car, you'll need to also program the factory ECU to turn off a fault code with the TGVs if you disconnect the wiring harness from the position sensor. Or you may have a car that has got a faulty position sensor with a TGV fault and a check engine light fault on the factory ECU that you want to adjust. And that is, of course, all adjustable using Ecutec tuning software for the calibration data. And you can turn those fault codes off and then you can take advantage of the increased power and opportunities to get more sensible modifications on your car. So there you have it. We're talking about 
the TGVs, there is a pair on either side of the engine. You don't have to necessarily go for the SDI upgrade, which have no TGVs at all. You can simply take the butterfly out, like I've shown you there, or if you want to get really anal, you can remove the rods. But remember, if you remove the pivot rods, you've then got to seal off either end to ensure you don't have any boost leaks or any crossover leaks between the left and right ports. And of course, this is one of the upgrades that you can do with a performance engine. We do a lot of these upgrades. Um, if you want some more technical information, go to our website, um, have a look at the technical data that you can download, the dyno graphs, the power kit documents, but of course you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, and uh, also Instagram. Send us an email, share this video. Um, down the bottom here I'll put some still photos to help you learn a little bit more about some close-ups of what we've been speaking about. But for today, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.